touch me. Outside. That's the second time you've touched me. Outside. Cell phone Don't video taken by Nick Connolly at a Giant Eagle grocery store in Pennsylvania. We live in America where if you have a, you, you have a note to not wear a mask, sure. well, look at this. Connolly told NBC News the confrontation occurred as he tried to explain he has a doctor's note exempting him from wearing a mask due to panic attacks. Do you feel that when you go into a grocery store without a mask that you're putting anyone else at risk? That's hard to say. Um, that's a really tough question for me to answer. No, me personally, if I was scared, I would stay home. I'm just not scared. Contacted by NBC News, the store responded in part, we are committed to safeguarding the health and well-being of our team members and guests while creating a safe and comfortable environment for everyone. It's the latest in a growing number of incidents across the country. In Michigan, three people have now been arrested and charged with first-degree murder in connection with the fatal shooting of a security guard at a family dollar store over a dispute about masks. Over a mask. In Miami this Beach, a, a public flag. customer went on an explicit rant after being mask. denied I'm entrance for not wearing a mask. I'm filing a lawsuit. In Alabama, an off-duty officer was seen body slamming a woman at a Walmart when she allegedly refused to wear a mask. But for today's business owners, requiring masks is a fraught decision. Will and Amy Wilson have run this Salt Lake City butcher shop for 30 years and recently made masks mandatory. And I can't tell you how ugly some of the comments uh, started to come in where we were called Nazis, um, just all sorts of things, and it hurts. They say it's to protect their employees. Amy is immunocompromised. We're not political. We're not making a political statement. We're, we're not trying to be right. We're just trying to be right-minded. 